All right, what's going on? Um, hold up. Let me just show off that fresh new hat right there. It's fucking sexy. But um, I just got done watching the Amazing Spider-Man two, and um, I, I had to write some stuff down, some uh, specific parts of the movie that I just liked. Um, but the the shit that I don't know the shit that I didn't like it just it outweighs the stuff that I like and um honestly this is like one of the first movies where like I like it but I hate it at the same time um I, I wasn't a big fan of the amazing spider-man number one I, I'll go into further detail why I hated that but this one was definitely better than the first movie this was this was a I don't know if it wasn't a Spider-Man movie, it would be a fen if it was something else, it would be a phenomenal movie. But uh, again, this this movie I like it, but I hate it at the same time. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man film franchise obviously isn't going to be my favorite franchise. I prefer the Sam Raimi films, even the third one. But again, I like and dislike that movie. But without further ado, let's go into. Uh, start the review uh number one one number one reason why i like this movie is because they have a new um kick-ass suit for spider-man the the old um the the old suit in amazing spider-man number one it was too lame i felt it was too faggish it was just too faggity too lame just really just really really stupid this um new suit is just way better Number two, um, the 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 music is definitely better in Amazing Spider-Man number two. Definitely better than fucking Amazing Spider-Man number one. The music in Amazing Spider-Man number one, his theme song was just really, really gay and just really retarded. Uh, again, I, I prefer the Sam Raimi Spider-Man uh, theme song, but that's just me. Uh, Stan, the Stan Lee cameo, or cameo. How do you say that? I think it's cameo. But um, the Stan Lee appearance. Andrew Garfield is a phenomenal Spider-Man. Um, yes, he is. The clever, from everything, from the clever quips to the awkwardness. He he's a little awkward, but um, he's still a little bit cooler than the classic Spider-Man. That I mean, I guess I can get over that. But um, everything from the personality, his relationship with Aunt May, Gwen Stacy, I liked it. He he's a remarkable um, Spider-Man slash Peter Parker. Um, it this one actually showed a lot more of Peter Parker's super strength than in the original trilogy. Now you know, and here he it has him you know stopping a bus, picking up a cop car shit like that a lot of people forget that um or not not so much of the fans but rookies to spider-man you, you you know you kind of forget that he he this dude actually has super strength and i i like that the movie portrays this um oh yeah it has felicia hardy in there huh that's interesting now i guess in future films they're they're planning to have her as the black cat but um this was just interesting my first first time i found out about the black cat at all was in the, the spider-man 2 video game um i thought that was kind of cool now let's go on and mention some of the some of the bad parts in this movie that actually just made me hate it it really just made me hate this movie i'm not going to be a spider-man fan to where like i just blindly praise this movie and just write its balls because I, I'm just not going to be that fan. I'm a very honest person. When I say I don't like anything, I just don't like it. This is probably going to offend a lot of you fa fan faggots out there. But, hey, I'm a realist. All right? um, I feel it focuses on the parents way, way, way too much. Now, you'll... Honestly, I, I guess a lot of people will question my faithfulness um, to Spider-Man being a fan or whatnot. But... Honestly, I'm good with just him being, you know, living with um, Uncle Ben and Aunt May. In the comics that I've read, the original, you know, Amazing Spider-Man's comics, um, it doesn't mention too much about his parents at all, really. 
from the comics that I've read. If somebody knows more, please um, correct me, but I haven't met, I, I mean, I haven't read a comic where it talks just so much about his parents. Like, in both of these movies, Amazing Spider-Man number one and number two, it just talks so much about uh, the origins of his parents and his uh, childhood. I, I don't care. I really don't give a fuck. Uh, it talks way too much about his parents. Um, oh yeah, Electro, Max Dillon. I, I, I don't like how he... If he wasn't supposed to be Electro, this this would work for me, but... I don't like how they made him so sympathetic and just uh, sad and just nerdy. The Electro that I'm familiar with is at least... You know, he's, he's, a, he's a dick and he's a jerk-off and... I don't know. I, I guess they made that they wanted you to um, sympathize with the character, I guess. But I don't know. I'm just used to the jerk off Electro. That's just me. Oh, yeah. Another thing is Electro, Max Dillon, from the comics I've read, again, he is in no way, shape, or form obsessed with Spider Man. Okay? So, yeah. Oh, it is? Um, want me to get it? No, I got it. Oh, okay. Pizza's here, but um, yeah, the nah from the comics that I've read, he is he's not obsessed with Spider-Man. Again, if somebody is a bigger Spider-Man more a Spider-Man nerd than I am, please um correct me. But yeah, that really pissed me off. The fact that they made him a nerd, um, and the fact that his origin is different, that kind of pissed me off too. Um, originally in the Amazing Spider-Man comic, he was working on a um. I think he was working on power lines, and then lightning struck him, and then he, he, he got mutated that way. I would actually prefer um, that that origin, but they went that route. Don't like it. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. Gwen Stacy knows he's Spider-Man. Now, that again, that that pisses me off. It really pisses me the fuck off. Um, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, because if you're a bigger Spider- again, if you're a bigger Spider-Man nerd than I am, correct me if I'm wrong, but from the comics that I've read, um, and even the TV shows, she does not know he's Spider-Man, and if she- and if she does, I'm sure she doesn't find out that he's Spider-Man this early on, again. Oh boy, pissed me off, pissed me off. The rhino suit. Oh, wait, no. Okay, let's go on to Harry Osborn for a second. Now, when I think of the Green Goblin, I don't instantly think of Harry Osborn. I think of, I think of, you know, Harry Osborn Sr., you know, and, oh boy. I know eventually he, Harry Osborn does become a goblin, but again, if they were, I don't know, I'm just being picky about this maybe, but. I don't think um, Harry Osborn should have been the goblin in this movie, really. The rhino suit. Um, why the fuck is it mechanical? Why? I know in the Ultimate Universe, you know, the rhino is all mechanized and all that, but... I've been waiting for the rhino to be in a Spider-Man movie and for them to finally just portray him in a fucking mechanized suit. He, he's not giant or anything. But he's in a suit. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh yeah, William Defoe will, to me, will always be Osborn Senior. Oh yeah, there again. Oh, I already mentioned that. Gwen's death. Yeah, wasn't the biggest fan of how they killed her off in this uh, movie at all. Now, in the comics, um, you know, she's falling, and Spider-Man, he, he um, shoots a web down to save her. He grabs her by the leg, and her neck actually snaps. And in the comics, he doesn't even know that he killed her yet. So he's pulling her up, pulling her up, thinking he's a big shot, you know, thinking he's a G. And um, it, takes him a, it takes him a few seconds to realize that she's dead. And of course, they didn't stick with that at all. They they didn't even stick with the right scene. They happened on a bridge, not in 
whatever fucking building they were in, really. Happened in a bridge. Really don't like that at all. Don't, nah. No. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Spoil. I, sh I probably should have mentioned that um, this thing has spoilers, but I don't really care because this movie wasn't that great to me. Um, da -da 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 -da. I'm just so pissed off right now. Hold on. Oh, yeah. The rhino, he doesn't appear until the end of the fucking movie. And in the trailers, he was so hyped as if he was so hyped as if he was going to basically at least show up in towards like the middle of the movie or something. They don't show him until like the fucking end of the damn movie. And then right when they're about to fight. Psh, credits. Open, you know, the ending credits, you know, they they show up. Uh, one more. There's at least one more complaint. No, oh, wait. Actually, I covered them all. So, yeah. Um, if this was another superhero movie, I, I, I would give it better credit, obviously. But as a... I consider myself a um, very, very stickler for shit that I like. And for them to just totally fuck up Spider-Man and these so-called amazing Spider-Man movies, this doesn't even seem to be following the amazing universe at all, really, in my opinion. Oh, boy. Uh, again, if this wasn't a Spider-Man movie, this would be a fucking blockbuster. To me, I don't know. Me, personally, I wanted more. It was okay. Definitely better than the first movie. Um... I don't see myself. I never bought the first movie on DVD. I was not gonna pay for that. Uh, I kind of, kind of regret paying for it in theaters. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm gonna buy this when it comes on DVD. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I, I'm probably just gonna stick to watching it for free on the internet. But yeah, if I pissed off um, a lot of people, too fucking bad. And uh, that was my opinion on Amazing Spider-Man 2. Peace out.